A follow-up now to the government's runway expansion project for the TB Letsum International Airport. I visited Beef Island to speak with one of the players in the BVI's aviation sector. The administration of Premier and Finance Minister Dr. D. Orlando Smith has awarded Chinese firm China Communications Construction Company as the preferred bidder for the expansion of the runway at the Terence B. Letsum International Airport from 4,645 feet to 7,100 feet. Now, this massive infrastructural project for the territory has seen locals here in the British Virgin Islands as well as contractors voicing concerns about the procurement process as well as the perceived benefits for the economy. Here at JTV News, I sought to get a comment from the government regarding the benefits or further explanation on the benefits for the BVI economy. However, I was told that the facilitation of an interview is not possible at this time. However, in the near future, further information will be communicated to the public as well as JTV News. And so I'm here at the TB Letsum International Airport to have a chat with Captain Neville Brathwaite of Virgin Islands Airlink on this massive infrastructural project for the British Virgin Islands economy. The expansion is something that's needed, but not at the cost of you know, the citizens and the future of the BVI. The BVI is one of the few countries in the Caribbean that doesn't have direct access, and we need the direct access to maintain our tourist numbers. Mr. Brathwaite says though the expansion project was awarded to CCCC with a low bid of nearly $154 million, there are questions about the project that are yet to be addressed by the government. No capital project, to my recollection, has been done on budget in the British Virgin Islands. Is it somebody who knows the economics of the British Virgin Islands for them to be able to bid that low and also what would what would be pu put into the BVI economy in terms of that you know project being done by that person from the outside the thing that has been put forward is the numbers are supposed to increase to the Caribbean and the statistics are not clear on whether or not that's to the BVI as we know Cuba has opened up and we all you know all of us with foresight saw that and that would contribute to the quote-unquote major numbers. Hearing what you just said about costs and inputs coming back to the BVI, do you think or are you one of those locals who are of the view that a local company should have instead been chosen? It's, it's my, my view about the local company is local companies need to be involved in all aspects of uh, building the country because at the same time once a local company is involved that external expertise coming to the country is given to the local company in which we can use the company to be able to do other infrastructure projects within the country. Premier of the British Virgin Islands, Dr. D. Orlando Smith, is also the territory's finance and tourism minister. And he says the benefits of the expansion of the runway at the TB Letsum International Airport on Beef Island will be significant for the territory. Why? Because it will make the country's economy in the various industrial sectors more competitive because larger aircraft will be able to fly into the territory, providing increased airlift as well as ease of access to visitors who want to visit the BV. But also, he says, this expanded runway will also provide more jobs as well as more business opportunity for the industries here in the British Virgin Islands economy. But what does Captain Neville Brathwaite of VI Airlink think about the benefits of this expansion project for the territory? With the expansion of the airport, once we have a longer runway that gives us more options in the types of aircraft we could use in and out of the British Virgin Islands, aircrafts that need longer runways. So it, it gives possibilities to our company for aircraft acquisition.